This video will show the process of creating a digital slab using Slabsmith's Slab Maker module. This includes loading and unloading the slab from the A-frame, taking a picture of the slab, applying the calibration profile, removing the background around the slab, inspecting the slab to define markup and unusable areas, then completing the process by defining the slab properties and saving the slab into digital inventory. Notice that the background of the Slabsmith A-frame is painted bright green to aid in the separation of the slab from the background. The operator continues by opening the Slabmaker module and clicking the camera button to take a picture. Slabmaker then applies dimensional and lighting corrections to the image to ensure accurate size and color of the digital slab. Following the application of these corrections, the digital slab is automatically separated from the image background. Next, the operator performs an inspection of the slab and places painter's tape on any area that will require rework, such as a pit or low polish area. A markup photo is taken and these markup areas are saved with the digital slab. During the layout process, the markup layer can be turned on to show areas to try and avoid during layout. After the markup photo is processed, a second inspection layer may be defined to keep track of unusable areas of the slab. For instance, an unrepairable crack or fissure in the slab. Upon completion of defining unusable areas, the operator selects the trace button and a collision boundary is added around these unusable areas. During layout, any countertop placed over an unusable boundary will turn red as a warning to the user. Now the slab properties are added to the digital slab. Some properties such as usable area and size are automatically calculated by Slabsmith. Custom properties may also be added by the user. When the slab properties have been defined, a barcode label is printed and the digital slab is saved into inventory. The barcode label that is affixed to the slab is designed to wrap around the edge of the slab to provide easy scanning of the slab's barcode even when the slab is in a rack. Although the operator left the markup tape on this slab, the markup tape may be removed from the slab and used again on the next slab. The position of the tape was saved digitally when the markup photo was taken. The slab is removed placed in a track, and the process repeats.